Welcome to Azure Quick Tutorials. In this session, we are going to learn about Azure Cloud Shell, and also we also try to create one of the uh, VM, uh, most probably the Linux VM, and then um, we see how this goes. So this is a documentation given by Microsoft. Let's give it a try on this and how this goes. Um, at the first point, what is a cloud uh, Azure Cloud Shell? Cloud uh, Shell is uh, an interactive shell which is offered uh, within the Azure portal. Uh, once you log in, you would be seeing in the uh, similar to like this. Let's mm -hmm. log in, log me in. So I have clicked on that. Uh, so let's see. So once I logged in, okay, I have here a cloud shell. If you see here, this is a cloud shell. To interact with cloud shell, anything you need to uh, uh, you need to have a shell uh, which will be uh, running under either Bash or uh, maybe a PowerShell. Any of them you can use it. In fact, uh, I'm using currently uh, Bash shell. Okay, so if you if it is a first time for you, you need to log into the um, Bash shell. From the cloud uh, shell command line it would ask you to create a storage account and so that the execution of any kind of um, scripts would be uh, stored there in fact you can type as uh, az uh, and see what is happening this is an interactive uh, 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 command shell where you have all the azure um, related commands can be executed in fact whatever you're able to do it from the GUI all the possible things can be done from the same command line okay so let's um, go back to the tutorial and uh, we have covered this and if you are uh, planning to use instead of the portal on your machine you can install uh, Azure uh, CLI tools uh, and then that then directly from your console you can be able to do the same thing okay uh, let's try a command uh, to create a resource group. A resource group is a top level group uh, which would uh, consolidate everything. For instance, I have the resource groups in my console. Let me close this and show you, you know, these are all on my uh, uh, resource groups which are uh, available in my different subscriptions. If you see here, I have three different subscriptions and three different locations almost. And each uh, store, each uh, each resource group contains uh, different items. Uh, when I say different items, uh, the right word would be the different objects altogether. It could be your web app, it could be your function, it could be your virtual machine, it can be your storage account, it can be your network card, or whatnot. Any object with which you are trying to publish in the cloud will be available here. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm gonna look at solve my issue so i should be here uh have i don't have here anything in this resource group maybe a wrong pick if i pick my dc as the domain controller um, i have a lot of other uh, resources are currently available here right so now let's go back to um, uh, cloud shell so once i click on try i need to click on my default directory or my uh, corporate uh, account in my case you know I'm gonna choose a second one uh, it can be any subscription uh, or the thing is here you need to have the permissions to log into your as your portal the same rights you would be you know signing up here in fact I logged in here now let's give it a try um, so now the command is help is it help then it gives you different commands by giving you this is easy it means as your group and the account subscription managing so all those commands are available let me copy this command which i'm trying to execute in this case cls so let me paste so what is happening is it's going to create my resource group vm okay and uh, this is a Azure group is a resource group you're creating with the name of my resource group VM. If you look at here, I don't have uh, something called, let's, let me show you here. These are my current uh, resource groups. There's nothing called my resource group. If you see here, my CPC, all these are there, but uh, there's nothing 
with the name of my resource group vm and the location is it is uh, choosing uh, the east us you should be very careful that whether your subscription supports this specific location or not okay in my case let me give a enter if that gets created that means i should be able to success so that means i have the permission if if you if i refresh i'm getting as my resource group as a vm which is created in east year so the command works fine then creating a virtual machine to create a virtual machine uh, within this re resource group currently there is no other objects uh, which are available now let's go back to the uh, command and if you give the last as the backslash uh, with the speech that means it treats as the the command continues further uh, okay in this case uh, i'm going to create uh, as you see a line this is group name is this uh, my vm name is my vm and ubuntu uh, version and admin name is, is your user and generate ssh key so there's a key gets generated automatically which will be used to connect to my linux vm okay uh, so now let's uh, start that command or copy command and run that command too so i'm going to copy this and execute the same command here so let it enter this would take some time to create a vm so if you look at here uh, the images uh, which is it, this takes anyway some time in the meantime i wanted to explain about uh, these things so resource group is you know that uh, what is a resource group which we uh, above in the previous step we created this so the same resource group which we are referring in this command and the name is my vm name which is going to create if you go here and refresh under your resources it is trying to create my uh, my vm uh, definitely that vm will have a virtual network and public ip and this nsg which is nothing but your firewalls or your software level software based uh, security and images uh, ubuntu lts so if you want to know even more uh, about the list of output table which has the images that means these are all the images are available so you could have used any of them in, in fact we used a, a version called ubuntu and if 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 in case if you are looking for a different one you would be you know using a different uh, uh centos or maybe red hat or maybe co or windows data center so in my case it's going to create this command uh is actually running this vm which is uh this is a version right so post to this um what i can do is once this command is executed perfectly i'll get very similar to this and it also gives me a public ip in fact you can also find here the public ip address it's already uh, created that public ip and it is showing that public ip in fact yeah so i'm gonna do a ssh to this uh ip with a public ip so that it gets created in fact this has been created now the resource if i go back to my resource group uh, which is this and if I refresh, I should be able to see a VM called my VM, and this VM is already readily available to connect. Uh, I, I can able to connect from either from here, or I can do also the SSH directly, because it's a Linux uh, VM. I need to do the SSH from my uh, portal or directly from here, so that I get connected. This is how you normally uh, connect. So if you run this command, okay. so it is asking uh cannot be established uh key finders as it is with and are you sure you want to continue to connecting yes so it's going to connect so you are on that uh, my vm now okay if you want to install you want to do anything um, it's it, it's in your uh it's your baby now in fact you know you you can play with your linux vm altogether okay so let's give it a try with the uh, exit and uh, what we'll do is we'll change a little bit uh, this command for creation okay let's start this uh, i'm gonna say my windows 
okay the vm name instead of ubuntu uh, i'm gonna choose another vm uh, which is 2018 uh, to 2016 that's center so this is a alias so i would give that name and then okay so they should uh, generate uh, they should create the account and give the password so the post to the modification of the command uh, I need to give the password also which is uh, unfortunately it is visible but that's fine you know just this is going to be demo I'll just come and paste here this gets um, this will create the required uh, VM if we go back to my resource group now it's going to create another out of the six items now right so it's going to create another uh, vm also uh, which is a, a windows based at this time so let's refresh so now increase the items uh, i mean the objects got increased because um, it's going to create even for windows okay that's how uh, soon you will see as a vm if you go to the virtual machines uh, you'll see a lot of other uh, vms in my case I will also have a VM here which is going to come with the name of my resource group my VM windows it's going to appear soon once I have uh, created see my VM windows it's still creating okay so I work on the command prompt and that is getting actually initiating in the background in the portal also so either uh, based on your um, a flexibility you can either work on a command prompt or you can also work on the portal so the major advantage with um, azure would be you can work with uh, if you're the linux admin or you know the linux commands you work with azure cli if you're working on a powershell you're the scripting guy then you can do the same commands with the powershell shell and if you're a fan of uh, windows and the gui commands then you can do it obviously but there is a, just a quick tip that uh, you can't create a uh, in a gui not all the possible scenarios for uh, for an instance example uh, you want to create one vm with two networking uh, two network cards uh, which can't be possible with the gui so you need to depend on your um, command line or uh, that is as your cli or powershell then only you can do it i hope this let's see this uh, it's still running the command let's see here it's still creating once it is created i should be able to see you know connect which will connect from here uh, with to this ip okay and if we want to see what is the status on the console side i should be able to go and check the boot diagnostics where I can see the exact image. Uh, for example, uh, if I go to other VM, which is already created and running, in my case, it's a my VM we just created, right? Uh, to that, uh, go to the diagnostic settings. So the boot diagnostics. I'm sorry for that. Oh, because. Um, so I need to enable this uh, boot diagnostics for Linux otherwise it can't um, we can't see otherwise but uh, in general if you go to this VM example and uh, go to boot diagnostics I should be able to see the uh, screenshot of that machine the current status see it is a login screen still loading in fact for me yeah okay and uh, uh, similarly I should be able to create it or I should be able to generate let's refresh once again yeah it's just a running state so I should be able to do sometimes uh, here the refresh doesn't work this re refresh you call it so you need to you know complete page reload that works so i'll just log in to this and the command which we have given is uh, username is azure user 
right uh, the password is this right so let's give this password and see if you're able to connect yeah we are able to connect that's it that's how you create a VM either Windows or Linux uh, with a simple command line it's so easy It's locking and come on okay so we were able to log into the same PC and uh, if you see the mission name whatever we have given that has been already assigned my via Windows and it is really available with 2016 that is inter edition okay I hope uh, this is easy to create uh, maybe you might have a doubt how to delete this um, VM or entire resource group just for the sake of um, you know the faster uh, deleting everything you can also delete the complete resource groups I mean to say uh, under resources you can go here so in my case my resource group VM if I delete this all these two VMs one is the Linux box as well as this Windows box two of the VMs can be a uh, completely go off so I need to delete then I have to click here delete resource group and give the resource group name as it is type it here manually and say you know delete automatically delete but I'm not going to delete now instead since this demo is more into um, as your CLI let's do that uh, with the CLI um, so what is the command we used if you remember um, we use a command to create right so similar command we are going to use but this time instead of create we will say that we delete okay as you group so delete and then uh, what is the group name uh, you are talking about in this case uh, my I'm gonna delete my nested resource group or related objects also with my resource group name I simply copy as this is command instead of typing I can let's go here I copy paste have fun that's it you're gonna delete if you're sure click yes it deletes the same question if you're trying to you know, delete whatever happens the same thing so here if I go back here and do a refresh so the status changes in fact if we go back here it is deleting if you see deleting so in a minute it's going to delete everything uh, that means my two VMs which have already connected also will go off you see this in a minute it will go off because uh, this VM is part of that resource group a any point of time now this can go off let's see in the meantime I can browse and see see it's gonna shut it, shut it down right automatically if I try to browse it's gone it's gonna delete okay so whatever we are done and uh, that is we are trying to you know revert back so that I can save my uh, as you create it okay it's very useful if you really like this uh, kindly subscribe and give it thumbs up uh, thank you for watching this video